Legal tangles, intimidation of the press and mass arrests, analysts say Pakistan's rulers are seeking to destroy former pa Prime Minister Imran Khan's support ahead of the elections. Imran Khan has been tangled in dozens of legal cases and is appearing before courts today. Meanwhile, Pakistan's Interior Minister Rana Sanullah said that Imran Khan will be tried in a military court. Since Khan was ousted last year in a parliamentary no-confidence vote, he has levelled unprecedented critique at the military, long regarded as Pakistan's power brokers. Khan's brief arrest earlier this month sparked days of street protest, with anger at the army perceived to have orchestrated his downfall. Islamabad has labelled the violence anti-state, justifying huge runs up and the revival of army courts to try civilians who targeted government and military buildings. Imran Khan claims legal cases against him are fabricated to quash the PTI and bar him from contesting elections due this autumn. The former Prime Minister wishes multiple FIRs against him to be clubbed and heard at once. The Al Qadir Trust case alleges that Khan, while he was the Prime Minister, received land as bribe in exchange for political favours. The Tosha Khana case relates to gifts that Imran Khan received from foreign states, which he allegedly bought at cheaper rates and sold at hefty prices when he was the Prime Minister. The former Prime Minister is the solo arbiter to, or for his party, the Pakistan Theri Kain Saf, that is. More than a dozen of his senior leadership were repeatedly arrested and released on allegations of instigating violence early this month. In press conferences after being freed, some of his closest aides condemned the violence and announced that they were parting ways with Khan. Thousands of rank-and-file supporters have also been rounded up under the Anti-Terrorism Act. With PTI leaders jumping ship, a new party in offing can be a ready refuge for those keen on sustaining their political careers. Pakistan's interior minister has accused Khan of planning attacks on military installations as part of protests across the country after he was arrested on the 9th of May. Military courts are primarily used to try enemies of the state. Pakistani politicians have frequently been arrested and jailed since the country's founding in 1947. But few have so directly challenged military that holds significant influence over domestic politics and foreign policy. The Pakistani military has staged at least three coups and ruled for more than three decades. Khan has burned bridges with the military despite previously enjoying close ties with the country's most powerful institution. The message is clear that by attacking the army, it is Khan who has crossed the red line. Will the Pakistani military succeed in getting even with the former Prime Minister? Remember, even former Pakistan President and Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was executed in 1979 by the Supreme Court of Pakistan in a civilian trial. He was executed for authorizing the murder of a political opponent, a move that was taken under the directives of General Muhammad Ziaul Haq. For more on this, we have with us our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, legal tangles, intimidation of the press, mass arrest. This is what we've witnessed in Pakistan over the past month now. What can you tell us of what's scheduled for the day? Well, what's scheduled for the day is him that Imran Khan has left from Lahore for Islamabad and he has left with his wife, Bushra Bibi. Uh, Bushra Bibi is to seek an interim pre-arrest bail in the al Qadir trust case from the Accountability Court. So Imran Khan is expected directly to head to the judicial complex in G11 in Islamabad uh, to accompany his wife as she seeks an, uh, an extension in the interim pre-arrest bail. After that, uh, Imran Khan will be heading to the Islamabad High Court, where he himself will be seeking a bail extension uh, uh, in the in the same Al Qadir Trust case. Uh, now, Imran Khan's case is due to be heard by Justice Mia Gul Aurangzeb at 2:30 p.m. Pakistan time. He is currently on route, and we would be expecting some drama as the day unfolds. Him. Two other important points here, Anas. Now, Pakistan's Interior Minister, Anas Anullah, said that Imran Khan will be tried in a military court. One, if you could just explain the implications of that. Also, secondly here, Imran Khan says that all of the FIRs against him should be clubbed and heard at once. What can we expect on that front as well? Well, that's a plea that he has taken, uh, not just in Islamabad, but in Lahore. Last question first. Imran Khan has maintained that due to the nature of FIRs, being more or less the same, 
therefore uh, his uh, cases should be clubbed and be heard in one very court now uh, a decision on that is also expected likely today from from the islamabad high court particularly pertaining to the islamabad cases with that being said the first part of your question with regards to uh, the uh, interior minister hinting or sh sh uh, or showcasing his opinion well for now uh, it's a mere wish on his part of course he holds an important portfolio but there is no concrete movement from the government hmm. at least on its part to go ahead and have this military trial of imran khan done it will not be an easy ride out he is currently the most popular leader in the country uh, so it would not just be easy and it uh, for Uh, any government to go right. ahead and just try Khan just like that. Him, oh. right? Well, Anna, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this. We will, of course, continue to track the developments closely. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.